the CR200B from Creality, a fully enclosed 3D printer. And I bought this machine with a specific purpose, printing heat sensitive materials like ABS. Well, in this video, I'm going to do a review about this machine, the Creality CR200B, here on Zachary's 3D Prints. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters, Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed, and Fixum Dude. Thank you guys for your awesome support. Hello, I'm Zachary, and in this video, I do a full review about the CR200B from Creality. But before I'm getting into this, well, let's do a little spec of this 3D printer. It has a printing volume of 200 times 200 times 200 millimeters. It's a fully enclosed 3D printer. It has a filament runout sensor. So if your filament runs out or has a breakage, well, the printer pauses and you can see what is going on or change the filament. It has a 4.3 inch LCD color touchscreen, which is similar like the Creality Ender 6. It has a LED light in the chamber, so in times when needed, you can lighten up your prints so that you can see what is actually printing. I do like to use this, so it's a very nice feature. The nozzle temperature of the CR200B is 260 degrees. The bed temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. The nozzle diameter is 0.4 millimeters, but I can imagine that you can exchange it for different kind of nozzle diameters. And it has a 32-bit board inside of this machine. And I guess that the TMC2208 or the TMC2209 stepper drivers are installed. I noticed that the machine is very silent, although the fans are really loud sometimes. I think Creality should really do something about that in the future. Further, the fans on the hot end are a little bit strange, but that I will leave for a later stage in this video. When I receive this uh, printer, I always do a live stream with an unboxing and in this case, first print, because that wasn't that much to assemble. You need to put the top cover on top of the cr 2 b and also remove some zip ties. Well, I do need to say that I had one issue and that was when I was going to start with the first PLA print that the hot end fan was not kicking in. So the hot end fan. The hot end fan is a fan that in most of my printers I always see running. Especially when you are starting up a print, it kicks in right away. Well, in my case, it didn't happen. And so I thought it was odd. Some people suggested that this fan is kicking in at a later stage, at 50 degrees or maybe even hotter. But in my case, I always see that the hot end fan is always running. After a failed print, I put the power cord out of the printer and I flipped the printer on its side. After removing the cover, I saw that the cables or the wires were not looking that strange. But looking to the small black and red wire, I thought, well, unscrew some screws and see how this wire is connected. Maybe a false connection, something else. After close inspection of those wires, it didn't seem that much and I reattached those wires. After that, I closed the lid and I turned on the printer. I directly noticed that the hot end fan was kicking in. So there was my theory confirmed that this fan should always be on. Something else, on the hot end, on the side of Creality, it advertised that it has two parts cooling fans, which is not true. There's only one fan on the right side of the hot end carriage. On the other side, there is nothing. I did notice that there is a possibility to install a BL touch. However, when watching the side of Creality searching for firmware, I didn't see any firmware which can provide a BL touch installation. To Creality, if you are watching this video, if there are some new updates for this printer are available, then please put them on the side so people can use this printer with a BL touch. Further, this machine, as noticed, this machine 
isn't made with aluminum extrusions. So the whole X and Y axis is going over smooth rods and lineal bearings. And this is a very rigid system in my opinion. When I was doing the first prints, I had some problems with the carbon random glass bed. Well, it didn't stick. Even though I leveled everything several times, none of the prints were sticking. So when touching the carbon random glass bed, I had the feeling that the bed was greasy. So I cleaned it several times and still prints didn't stick. So my solution was to use hairspray on the print bed. After that, I started one of the first prints and it did stick. Well, I do need to say I was very happy with that result. The print result. The first thing that I printed was this little funny thing. I don't know what it is, but it was an easy one to print and it didn't take that much time. I tried to print this several times and after using the hairspray, it did the job. So I'm very happy with the result and I thought, well, let's slice a Benji in Cura and see how the result is going to look like. Well, the Benji uh, did came out okay. No stringing, no uh, other weird artifacts. So it did do its job pretty well. After that, I printed this spiral vase. I don't know if that, that is the correct name. And I do need to say that it is looking amazing. Well, in the beginning, you have some little things here. I don't know how to, it's called, but if you see it, you know exactly what I mean. But further, after that, it turned out amazing. I also posted it on Twitter. If you are not following me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. So this one went also amazing. So because I bought this machine with the purpose of printing ABS for my forum build, I ordered two rolls of ABS filament from in this case, Excelled, one in red and the other one in blue. I loaded the blue filament because I like blue more than red. Although I think this red looks also very nice. So future prints are going to be in red ABS as well. How did it go? How did the ABS printed parts look like on the CR200B? Well, because I did use the printer several times before, I need to apply a new layer of hairspray so after applying a new fresh hairspray layer on the bed i started printing with the blue abs filament and do need to say that all parts came out very nice i had little to none warping whatsoever all the layers 0.2 millimeters done in prusa slicer came out very nicely very smooth and i also posted some of them on my Twitter, Zagri underscore Bergen. I didn't have any real problems with those ABS parts when I was building the Voron V0. So I can say that I'm very happy with the print results on the CR200B. So in the future, I'm going to print more parts and different kind of filaments on this machine as well. I will also do some updates about printing with something like nylon or some other heat sensitive materials. So what do I think about the Creality CR200B? Well, first let me check the cons of this machine. Those wires of the fan from the hot end needs to be installed correctly. If you have some issues when you have this machine, then check the wires on the main board of this machine. It are the smaller wires like mentioned earlier in this video. The PTFE tube. The PTFE tube is still a standard PTFE tube which Creality always uses. When printing in with temperatures at 260 degrees, the PTFE tube is not sufficient for this machine. Exchanging the PTFE tube from the white standard one, going for the Capricorn PTFE tube, which can have more heat. And especially in an enclosed chamber where you are printing with filaments up to 260 degrees. Also going on the back side of this machine, the plastic extruder. I would like to see a more capable, more durable, extruder head for this machine. This machine needs a metal extruder instead of a plastic one. Also the coupler on that one is the same Creality always uses. 
I would like to see a more robust coupler for the PTFE tube. The carbo random glass bed does not always stick in my case. I don't know what your cases are. If you didn't have any issues, please let me know in the comments. I would like to know how your feelings are about the glass bed. And some other thing that I don't like is the screen. The screen has a menu which is similar like the Ender 6, but you can only have 25 files on the card. Everything else or hidden in a folder, the machine doesn't see that. So Creality, please change that as well. And also make more firmware about this machine available so that users can also use something like a BL Touch, because in this case, it's not usable at this moment. And so now the pros of this machine, because this machine is fully enclosed, it is doing its job pretty well to print heat sensitive materials like ABS. It has a 32 bit board, which is very nice. It has the TMC 2208 or 2209 stepper drivers for silent printing, although you will hear the fans of this machine. Uh, it has a top cover, which makes this printer a fully enclosed 3D printer. The on off switch and the SD cards are on the right side of this machine, which makes operating this machine very handy. And on the back side, you have a filament spool holder, so you don't see that in plain sight. And some other nice thing is that it is not made out of aluminum, like all other prints that I have from Creality. It uses smooth rods to get the mechanicals of this machine running very nicely. The LED light on the inside, when you're printing in total darkness, for example, you can still see your print when turning on the LED strip. And some other thing that I do like to mention is that you can install a BL Touch on this machine, although the firmware is not ready to do that. So if you are interested in buying the Creality CR200B, feel free to use one of the affiliate links in the description of this video. It will support my channel without you paying anything extra. If you want to use some other links or other sites, feel free to do so. And let me know what you think about the CR200B. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints, bye bye.